A rare sight in the Surinamese capital. An anti-government protest. People are angry about the crash in the value of the local currency and rising inflation. Much of that anger is directed against the country's popular but unconventional president, who's long preferred to do things his own way. Daisy Bortesi is one of the world's more controversial leaders. He's been convicted in the Netherlands of drug trafficking. He stands accused of murder here in Suriname. And as if that's not enough, he now has a real problem on his hands. Suriname's economy has historically been dependent on the export of resources. For more than a century, it was one of the world's main exporters of bauxite used to make aluminium. But a crash in prices has led to the last bauxite factory here to be closed. The country's bet that oil would instead boost government coffers has not proved right, given the recent fall in oil prices too. Suriname is rapidly running out of money. Its currency, the SRD, has lost almost 50% of its value against the dollar since November. And everyone in this ethnically mixed nation that only recently felt it was in the midst of a boom now senses a bust. Supermarket manager Raj Den says business is markedly dropping off. People don't buy because the wages, uh, they don't get high because companies can raise their wages and that's why people cannot buy. And the other side, the government don't have, uh, have also extra money to pump it into the economy uh, to get a better uh, regulation of the economy. That's why I sit on the both sides. So how did you feel when Samida you and Satyanand both worked at the American-owned Alcoa refinery until it closed down last year. They say President Bortesi is right to describe this country as in crisis. The country is in a crisis, that, that's true. That's, that's right. That's that part he has right, but he should have known that the crisis is coming. So when he, he, would, he, would, he would have to do something to be prepared in this phase so that we don't have to have this, the devaluation. Every, every day is going Both are worried about the side effects of a crashing economy. You don't feel safe in your home because when people don't have money, they start to steal everywhere, everything. One criticism of the president is that he spent lavishly ahead of his election last year and failed to save for a rainy day. I noticed you said that... I had the opportunity to ask him why this country, unlike most other resource-dependent economies, apparently never took the precaution of establishing a sovereign wealth fund. I wonder why that is and whether you, uh, you know, what your response to that is. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, as I said before, is this an, an excellent opportunity? Every crisis creates an opportunity, a new opportunity. And in the past, we failed to create the, uh, the fund. And, and now we have learned, we have lessons learned. So now we have the opportunity to, to create the, the fund. The question for the IMF. The president has announced a series of austerity measures, including quadrupling electricity bills. His plan has been praised by the IMF, which is close to approving an emergency loan worth nearly half a billion dollars. But the president still needs to sell the plan to the people, asking them to accept more austerity for a promised better future won't be easy. The president says the IMF deal is by far the best solution for this country. But there are plenty of people here who disagree. Stephen Gibbs, CCTV, in Suriname.